Hi, this is Forrest. We are here because a while ago, Forrest's girlfriend Liz, who is sitting behind the camera, Hello. made a video called The Boyfriend Tag with Forrest. And. Because he is my boyfriend. And I was jealous because he's my boyfriend too. So let's, let's go because there's a lot of questions. Okay, okay, wait, I gotta close the door so you can't hear pickles chirping. <laughs> I know, it's such a burden. Alright. <laughs> It's a burden. Question one. <laughs> Question one. Where did you two meet? When we were like eight or something, um, we both did a play at Sea Glass Kids that was the Emperor's New Clothes. I was the prince who like pointed at the king and was, was saying, oh, he's not wearing anything at all. And I was the one that made the, what he wasn't wearing. Yeah, he, he was the swindler who made the magical <clears throat> suit of clothes. Number two, where was your first date? <laughs> this is technically... <laughs> Um, hmm. Yeah. We used to have like sleepovers. Playing with Brio train sets and yeah. Legos. Your parents and let you have sleepovers when you were like 10? <laughs> yeah. Number three, what was your first impression of each other? Oh, I don't know. I was eight. I don't. I can't remember. I don't consider my eight year old self a good judge of character, <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. Number four, when did you meet each other's family? And you get your gun. I'm, yeah. That's when I met your family because. Later, when we really became friends was when we were both in Annie Get Your Gun at Biddeford City Theater. Yes. And, and his my whole... My dad was Frank, and my Frank mom Butler, was yes. Chief Sitting Bull for some reason. <laughs> and then my sisters were Indians, so. Yes. And we were cowboys. And we were cowboys. Weird habit of each other. Like, what are weird habits that you two do? He'll be playing with something, and then he'll be like, oh, this is fun. I'll be like, <laughs> that's not a toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause and then we try to keep a straight face. <laughs> yes, because backstage during Phantom of the Opera, there was like, no, 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 it was backstage during Bits and Pieces, the one act. There was like a telephone prop backstage, and I was like playing with it, you know, spinning the dial thingy. And I was like, oh, this is fun. And, and he, he said, I used to have one of these when I was a kid. And I touched it, and I went, this is not a toy. And then, and then I just looked at him, we knew he held that for like 10 seconds, and then we burst out laughing. And then like whenever, when, whenever I say something is fun, or like, whenever, oh this is cool, we were just like, this is not a toy. And then we tried to keep a straight face and it never works. It doesn't work. Yes. Okay, question number six. Question how, number six. How long have you been together? Since we were eight. <laughs> yes. So, Since we ten were eight. years? <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any traditions? I would count this as a tradition, um, where we sing who 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 who'd who believe a diva happy to relieve a chorus girl who's gone and slept with a pet one. Round and the Supreme Twine twined in love's duet, although he may be mad, he must have been with her. You never get away with all this in a play, but if it's sadly sung and in a foreign tongue, it's just a sort of story audiences adore. In fact, a perfect opera, prima donna. Because we were both in Phantom of the Opera and at our high school, and we were the two managers of the theater, and that was a part that we sang during one of the songs. Wait, do you have the uh, character? <gasps> I'll put a picture of it over this. In the play, uh, we both had fake mustaches. That was the end of last school year. So at the end of this school year was Senior Sunrise, and there was a caricature artist, and so we got the caricature artist to draw us as the two... With with no photos that we gave him or anything. Yeah, there were no photos of That's the production so that we gave accurate. him. We, oh we got him to draw us as the two characters that we played. An animal that resembles each other? I think Forrest is a cow. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah, a cow. He's just big and he just does, he just, you know, goes about his business. He doesn't care. He doesn't give a sh**. I can't even <laughs> give Aaron an animal. I always imagine myself as a squirrel. I would say that's accurate too. I was thinking yeah. a like small like rodent with a lot of energy. Yeah, Not yeah. Not to say that you're a rodent because that's no, funny. no, no. I'm totally a rodent. Or a sea cucumber. Number nine. What was your first road trip? Our first road trip. Have what? we ever been on a road trip together? To We've Jay. been on plenty of bike trips. Yeah. One time when we were biking, uh, we were going down like Jenkins Road. This is the epitome of error. This is a very yes. Aaron story. <laughs> and and we were going down the road. <clears throat> And some guy was on the other side with this little motorized scooter, like, wah, wah, and then 
he, Aaron said, alternative energies, and the guy said, F you, <laughs> and yes. then Aaron said, okay, <laughs> and that's how that went. Aaron and I have known each other since I was going out of sixth grade, and he was going out of yes. seventh grade. So. I knew both of them before they started dating each other, long before they before started Before we dating. knew each other. Yeah, before they even knew each other, yeah. So, yeah. Why didn't you send us Liz and I aren't dating. Who are you? What? What's going on? Hey, I'm Liz. Where am I? Hi, how are you? Who am I? What is happening? Don't Next question. Okay, Why am I in this room that's full of weird things? Number 12, favorite feature about each other? Like, favorite feature on your body? The dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That hair. His <laughs> hair has changed so much. I know, my hair. You need to insert pictures. <laughs> Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Before freshman year, I was like buzz cut all the time. Do you have PMS? Perpetual motion? I don't know. What is that? PMS? Uh, premenstrual syndrome. Our Before cycles period. usually synchronize. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yes. Our menzies are synchronized. <laughs> menzies? Exactly. Is that a word for menstrual cycle? Yeah. Is that a nickname for <laughs> Is that something you came up with? No! It's from the Big Bang Theory! What? That's how I learned it. Oh. Menzies! Our Menzies are synced! What the fuck? Amy Farrah Fowler says that on the Big Bang Theory. Nicknames for each other? Uh, Dick. I call him Dick because his, his character in The Phantom of the Opera was called Richard. And there's one point where I say, You know, Richard, I think we may, we've made quite the discovery in Miss Dye. And then <laughs> some, at some, some of the rehearsals, we would, we would put, that, put a spin on that, and I'd be like, You know, Dick. Or I'd be like, You know, Dicky. Or at one, at one rehearsal, I said, You know, Tricky Dicky. <laughs> I would just stand backstage thinking, We can't wait to do this. <laughs> yes. And it'd take all of my effort not to crack up. You know, uh, Tricky Dicky. <laughs> you know, you just say it with the utmost serious. You know, Tricky Dicky, I think we've made quite the discovery in Miss Dying. What's your nickname for me? Aaron. What size shoe do you wear? For the other? Big. <laughs> Small. <laughs> I don't know. Next question. What's your favorite kind of sandwich? Big. <laughs> Small. Favorite kind of music? You like show tunes. Yeah, I love show tunes. I'm a show tune freak. Um, and and he likes like anything that's like jazz or band or orchestral or anything that's not like pop music or rock music or any of that. Best friend. I would hope me. I would hope I'm your best friend. <laughs> Ten years. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing that. Yes. Yeah. That's cute. Each other. Something the other does that you wish they wouldn't do. Exist. <laughs> 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 um, on my face, kind of ticks me off. Okay. Next question. Where are you from? <laughs> where am I from? Yes. Oh, where is he from? Yes. He's from right here. He's from Saco, Maine. Right here. <laughs> this very floor. His mother birthed him on this floor. He's from Saco, Maine. And he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from... We're okay with that. <laughs> I'm from Ellsworth. Slash Bar are. Harbor. I spent like the first year of my life in Bar Harbor, but I was born at the Ellsworth Hospital because there's oh. no hospital in Bar Harbor, and Ellsworth is right near. So I technically I never lived in Ellsworth, but I sort of lived in Bar Harbor as a baby, and oh. then I moved to Kennebunk, and then I moved to Saka. What kind of cake would you bake the other on their birthday? Cheesecake. Cake flavor. Cheesecake. <laughs> Stupidest answer ever. Next question. Next question. Do you play any sports? We call each other sports sometimes. No, we don't. No, you don't. No, we don't. <laughs> Big question. Ready? What? Who gives? Who receives? Well, during Christmas time, <laughs> he loves to receive presents. And I don't give presents because I'm Jewish. I don't uh, give presents at Christmas time. Or that's all the questions. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for Forrest. Yes. This is. This will test whether you truly know me as a friend. What is my favorite time signature? Top, oh, 6 8. Yes, it is. That, that is correct. Sometimes I just go get a cheeseburger and ask for, like, just the cheese. Like, leave off the burger, <laughs> leave off the bun, just the cheese. Sometimes I ask for a chicken breast and ask them to hold the chicken.